Hi guys, it's Stacy, and I'm back with another Saturday Morning Makes. Um, I have four, four cards to show you, so I'm just going to get into showing the cards, and then I'll show um, the products after each one. For my first card, I made some little ice skaters. Oops. I made some ice skaters. I got Santa, and a little Frosty, and a bear, and then we have a village um, silhouette here in the snow on the ice. And then for the stars, I just took a white gel pen, and I colored, I did dots, and then I colored larger circles and like dabbed them, and then went back and added um, the concentrated white in the center. And I just heat embossed the uh, sentiment there. And then I added some shimmer to the eyes, which I don't think you can pick up in this um, with the lights. But let's see if, it, if I do this. Bring in. I'm not sure that showed up or not. It's pretty bright from the lights they have on. <clears throat> and then. My second card is using some of the similar techniques, and um, I use this Blue Night uh, rubber stamps. This is called Winter Cabin in the Woods. I actually um, won this from Nancy Stamps from the Four Link Snobs Club. And she was doing a giveaway when she cleaned out her craft room, and she hit so many subscribers, I believe, on Instagram and YouTube. So, there's that. And that, this is a uh, red rubber cling stamp. This is really nice quality. I really like this stamp. And so I did something very similar. Um, I just stamped it on some dark blue or medium blue paper. And uh, colored in the windows yellow with a yellow... Um, Prismacolor pencil, and I added snow to the trees, and I ink blended with some dark blue, and then black ink around the edges, and went in and added um, the highlights with the snow, and then dotted the sky with stars, and the same technique is what I used to do the stars in the background. And you can also do that with pigment ink. If you get a Q-tip, add some pigment ink, smear it, and you might it actually might work better. Um, I think that may be how I did this one. And then you dot the um, center to make it look like it's a glowing star. And then I just used a um, circle die and cut out a small circle mask and that's how I did the moon. So there's card number two. And um, oh! This Stampinda stamp set is called uh, I don't know what it says. They cut so close to the line that you really have to make a, um, I don't know, a jig, a stencil in order to pre-cut your, um, your images and then line up your stamps in the Misty and then stamp them. I don't think this has a name. So I, I got it so many years ago. It's CSD10. If, if you can find it still. Just set that to the side. And then the, the village background was done with a border die that I got from a Hero Arts My Monthly Hero Kit many years ago. Um, some of you may have it in your stash. And then just it's a lawn fun stitch uh, border dies, which I used in another card. Here's... Um, and then for this card, I use these tiny townhouses. They're just dies of different houses. And I don't believe I used them all. There's a little fence in there. I don't know what brand these are or where they came from. They may have came from Allie because um, I purchased them from Crafty Bean when I got a big uh, lot of dies from her. So... And she just has it labeled tiny townhouses. So, um, that's those. 
And then I used that Lawn Fawn Stitch Border Die for the Snow. I believe this came from a, the scent of it came from an MFT stamp set. And this Snowflake um, stamp is an old Inka Dinka Do that's a decade or more old. So it's a similar type of thing I did here. I just used, started with a lighter blue uh, cardstock and then I ink blended blue and then black ink on the edges. And then to get this, this raised area with the shimmers, what that is, is Spectrum Noir, or you can use Week of Stella or whatever type you use. And you just add it in there pretty heavily, and then you let it dry, and then you go over it with glossy accents, and this is what you get. Let me see if I can, um, let me try this. I don't know if you're if it's picking that up. That shimmer that's in there. So that's how I did that. And then I used the whimsy um, gnomes again. I used gnome for the holidays and gnome for Christmas. So there's that one. And that one. Push that out of the way. And I did two different scene cards with those. So the first one I did was I did some masking as well. Um, so what did I do with them? I stamped out mask on just post-it notes because I wasn't going to ink blend over it. So, as you can see, I didn't even fully cut this one out because I didn't need to. And I originally did this one. And I wanted his pom-pom to be up front because I really liked that about this stamp. But I stamped this guy a little too low. So I used this as my practice card to choose the colors. Um, and then I did the background after. And I decided to keep it. I thought it came out well enough. Um, and then I used the sentiment that was in one of the stamp sets and made my own frame and drew the floor in. And then there's glossy accents on the lights, the bells, the stars, and then I just used some Trinity stamp embellishments. I believe these ones are probably unicorn tears or fairy rocks. I can't remember. I think these are fairy rocks. Um, and then I used the, the Spectrum Noir shimmer pin underneath the stars. It will show up more in the next one. And in the Jingle Bells and in real life, it's so sparkly in there. And um, you can do that with on any card. It's, uh, it's just so pretty in person. And then this is the um, other one I did. And as you can see, this time I went ahead and put his pom-pom behind uh, this gnome because it wouldn't be going in front of him like that. But I don't think the recipient will really notice. I think they'll just appreciate the card. So this one here, um, I picked out the similar colors and I did the same thing. But this one I just did the background on and did some snow banks and the sky. And I wanted it, you know how when you have a light on and it kind of puts those rays as it goes out. So I left those marks in there and intentionally didn't blend it. And I did the same trick that I did on these um this other these other two cards with the stars hoping they look like stars these ones I think look less like stars but I still think it's pretty and then um, hopefully you could see the shimmer in there I'm hoping it shows up on camera it's really hard to tell and then I went with uh, the a yellow marker and lightened up around to make it glowing and I did the same thing here I tried to make the lights look like they were glowing in this star so these are my Saturday morning makes um, it's hosted by Jill Norwood I'll leave all the information on how to join below you can you just share your your whatever it is that your hobby is whether it's card making uh, DIYs um, sewing Play, whether you make jewelry, whatever it is, and use the hashtag SatMornMakes, and I'll leave all the info, information below. It's hosted by Jill Norwood. 
make sure to go visit her channel. I'm sure you guys already know. If you're here at my channel, you already know who Jill is. But if you don't, um, I'm going to link her channel down below. And everyone have a wonderful weekend. Oh, one last thing. I did get uh, the stamp set from Jamie's um, The Not Too Shabby Shop. And you could purchase the stamp set separately and other products from the uh, the subscription box, the monthly box. And I have a couple of cards made with this, but I want to come back tomorrow and do a video dedicated just for it because I have a couple other ideas I want to try to throw in there. Um, and so that there can be some ideas on how to use the stamp set. Everyone have a wonderful weekend. Bye.